Hi, I'm Nick Ziegler. I'm a farmer here at Lettuce Heads Farm. We uh, operate a aquaponics system. Uh, we got into this in around 2014. Uh, decided that I wanted to be a farmer and so I came back home, got some family involved and we uh, we built this in the coldest winter in history. Uh, but it's proven to be uh, successful. We sell to end users, so consumers like yourself, um, through a farmer's market, through a CSA, and we also sell wholesale through a food distributor as well as uh, restaurants and, and we're working on getting in some grocery stores. So. But you can find our products online. We have an email list that you can buy through. Uh, but that's kind of the way that we that we currently set up the business to, to sell product. In these trays, we're growing a lot of lettuce and greens. Uh, if you notice behind me, you'll see a lot of head lettuce. You'll see a lot of leaf lettuce. Uh, we also have some kale. We also have chard. We have mustard greens in here. Um, another big product that we grow is bok choy. There's some restaurants that we have that really buy into that. You know, with aquaponics, we're creating a nutrient solution with fish waste. Um, and that can be challenging at times to manage. Uh, in this system, it's, it's known to be very high in nitrogen. And so for fruiting plants like tomatoes, it's not a really great environment for them. They like more phosphorus levels. But in greens, for instance, they love as much nitrogen as they can get a hold of. So it's a great system to grow leafy greens or any of the Brashka family items. In aquaponics, in this case, we're using a deep water culture system. Um, what this is is a, uh, a floating raft system. So we have 12 inches of water. Uh, this water comes from the fish tanks. So the fish are producing the nutrient and then it flows out into these plant beds. Um, and then the roots just hang down in the water. We have an air stone every four feet. So this is what allows oxygen to get to the root system to allow the plants to uptake nutrient. So in, in our case, our plants don't turn yellow. You know, in traditional ag, if we get lots and lots of rain, it locks up all the oxygen in the soil and the plants will turn yellow if they're saturated for too long. But in our case, we, we are inputting oxygen, which you're not seeing right now because the blower's off. But uh, inputting oxygen that's causing oxygen to get to the roots they're uptaking nutrient and growing the challenge there is that you're dealing with two things you're dealing with fish and they're creating waste and there's bacteria that's eating that and when that process happens and it's being converted over to nitrogen we're creating an acid it's driving that pH down so we also have to manage that pH level and we do that through calcium and potassium carbonate carbonates uh, which helps bring that pH level back up, brings it to a more of a neutral level, as well as gives the plants some usable nutrient as well. So for the most part in this system, we're getting most of our nutrient from our fish, with the exception of calcium, potassium, um, and iron. Iron is, they're just cold-blooded animals, so they don't really produce it. Um, and in, plants need a lot of iron, so we supplement some iron uh, as well. Under the rafts, we have um, a few different fish in there, kind of helping with um, helping with the organic load as well as maybe insect load that we might get. So, one thing you may not notice on the video, we have a, a little bit of an issue with midge, which is kind of like a mosquito that doesn't bite. Uh, they reproduce in water, and so they they lay on the water, they lay their egg. They'll, the worm hatches and then becomes another midge and it happens very quickly and it can become a very big problem and so we re we release a mosquito eating fish it's like a little tiny guppy uh, that swims underneath the raft as well as a quarry cat catfish which is like an aquarium sized catfish uh, it helps just kind of eat some of the organic matter that might fall off like plant root um, to kind of help manage that manage that uh, in the bed so we don't have to clean it out. Once they get to a certain size we take those those little cubes or the little plugs and we put them into these rafts and what these rafts are it's a it's a uh, compressed styrofoam um, it is a one inch tapered hole so it basically we put the little plugs in the hole and it's a it's a it's a uh, snug fit so it just kind of fits in there it pushes on all sides and kind of holds the plug in until the plant's big enough to hold itself in there. These plants stay in the raft. Ideally, they don't move. So once they're put in, they stay in there until they're harvested, then they're taken out. 
and then we refill that space.